Five on your mental health tonight. The FDA has authorized the first smartphone app to treat depression. Here to talk about that is Dr. Alice Connors Kelgren, of course, a clinical psychologist at Tufts Medical Center. Good to see you, Dr. So now, Dr. Alice, there's an app for that, right? Okay. There are a lot of <laughs> apps out there that can, that can harm our mental health, but the FDA agrees, that, and it's this one's called Rejoin. It's spelled R-E-J-O-Y-N. They're saying it could be helpful. How does it work? Break it down for us, would you? Yeah, so this app uses a novel intervention called cognitive emotional training, which aims to kind of rewire the parts of the brain that have been shown to play a role in depression. Um, the specific task that this uses is called the emotional faces memory task, um, which is basically just asking people to identify and compare emotional expressions on faces, um, which is supposed to help them learn how to process emotions differently, similar to how physical therapy helps us to kind of learn how to move our bodies differently. Doctor, the manufacturer says this, this app will be available to download later this year. What else do patients need to know? Yeah, so there's a couple of things to know about this app. One is that it will require a prescription because it's not meant to be used alone, but rather as a supportive treatment for people who are already taking antidepressants. People also have to be 21, I'm sorry, 22 years or older to use the app. Um, and it's important to note that it doesn't track progress or report worsening symptoms or safety risks to providers. Um, so patients require ongoing care and regular contact with providers. L let me ask you a professional question. Do you think it's safe to try? I do, yeah. So, um, so the FDA approval was based on a study that showed that there were no negative effects from using the app, so it does appear safe to try. Um, however, it did not show significant benefits to using the app, so it likely won't be covered by insurance and patients will have to pay out of pocket for it. Um, research is still also very early, so we're not totally sure kind of what the long-term effects are, and it will not be a substitute for more traditional therapy. Got it. All right, Dr. Connors-Kelgren, thank you so much. Stay take, well, doctor. Take care. Good to see you.